the figures about survival rate of a heart disease patient. Correct. The COVID it is reaching almost 90% now, but you are getting it. What is the percentage of heart disease people with survival rate? You must be doing better in India or anywhere. Right. So you're talking about heart attacks. Heart diseases, yeah. people suffering yeah. from heart attacks. That's right. How many heart attack survive? is one of the emergencies because heart disease can still progress over a long period of time. But a heart attack is an emergency, just like COVID becomes okay. an emergency. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and at the moment, you know, if a heart attack occurred and we were able to actually get to him in time, we would actually save 98% of them. So again, it just shows the fact. And, and as you can imagine, when I said 7,000 people are dying from, from heart attacks every day in this country, that's a huge number of people. Now, how many of them did not get to us? How many of them we could not save during this time is a, is a real important issue in our mind. So don't you think that COVID is more a hype than, than so much money you have spent? You have spent so much money in six months that may not have spent the entire 25 years of medical care. The kind of <laughs> you spend now. No, I don't but think... It's, it's, it's very like, scary. I know, I, know, I, know, I know, I know. I know it is, it is, it is not a hype. The, the difference is that this infects from one person to the other. The non-communicable diseases are not infecting each other. And that's the whole issue. So the, the extent of the number of people which, who can die if we didn't control could run into crores. And that's the real issue. It's an infection versus a non-communicable disease. And it's a vicious infection because it transfers and lives on transferring from one person to the other. So we cannot equate it. We're just saying, thankfully, we got a thousand deaths. But believe you me, it could have been unthankfully and this we could be facing 20,000 deaths a day. We've seen that happen. By the way, you know, I, I, must, I must say that we're talking about a lack of a deaths in a nation of 1.3 billion. We talk about one fourth, America is twice the more deaths in a nation which is one fifth our, our population. Oh, and if you talk about England, 10 to 15% death rate was 10 to 15 in England. That's why you saw those visuals where even for the emergency, the number of ambulances waiting to take patients to the emergency had spread to eight mile long queue. And for the symmetry, number of people being taken to the symmetry was, was similarly a two mile long queue in, 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 in Italy. So we don't want to see those visuals because with the density we have, you cannot even equate it to acute uh, a heart attack, which is a non-communicable disease. Yes, heart attacks developed over a period of time. It doesn't take over the fact that we're going to fight it. This number of deaths can actually happen in the next six months. Whatever deaths we saw over the last five years from a heart attack, if we weren't careful, could happen in the next two months as far as COVID is concerned.